last time we were doing linkedin marketing so today we have to do linkedin ads so we will see how we can do the paid promotion with the help of uh, linkedin marketing so we will go to linkedin and uh, start with the ads i hope you are able to see my screen yes sir okay all right so now this is the place okay so we can see uh, the dedicated icon for advertise so we can click on this advertise and uh, it will take us to the campaign manager so now in campaign manager we have various uh, options they like first of all we need to create an account account uh, is not uh, say means uh, creating a website uh, creating an account on a website not that type of account but uh, the account in which we can create ad so like this over here you can see this is the ad account that i have created now why do we need to create an account uh, first of all uh, say we can create multiple accounts so mm, uh the account can be for multiple businesses so in case uh, this is for the agencies who manage multiple clients and uh, they are doing multiple ads for them now if i create if i put all the ads of all the clients in one account then it would be very difficult for me to find out which ad is for which client so for that reason we create a new account over here and uh, we run ads into that so i'll just show you how to create an account so there is an option over here create and then you can create an account and then you can give uh, any name over here say like this is the name and then currency you can select so i'll select indian rupees and associate a linkedin page so this is optional however if we want we can put it so maybe i can put so there are pages over here i can select those pages so i can select this page over here so like this i can select and i can click on save so now that account is created and we have entered into that account and now i can create campaigns uh, over here so this is the new campaign that I, it comes up by default over here and uh, after that i need to create a campaign group so in that i can provide the name say like what type of uh, ads that we want to do say like brand awareness website visits engagement video views and uh, lead generation website conversion and job applications so this is uh, uh, different types of ads which we can do so we have three categories awareness consideration and conversions so uh, the first ad that is uh, awareness that is brand awareness so this is you want uh, more people to know about your business so that is making people aware of your business this is usually done when uh, we uh, say we are starting a new business and uh, any point of time in between also you can uh, do this ad so that new people who are not aware about your business we can run this ads so i can click on this uh brand awareness and uh, we can run that ad now over here we have the option for budget optimization so we will automatically distribute your uh, group budget across the best performing campaigns for better return on investments based on the bid strategy so now over here i can select this option budget optimization now if i select this on then i am giving controls to facebook uh, this linkedin over here and uh, they will control my bids uh, in the auction or else i if i want to keep the controls then i can keep the controls with me so if i keep the controls then i can manage the bids over here at my cost so if the cost is say like 50 rupees so i can pay 50 rupees but uh, if uh, linkedin manages and if the price is even 500 then they will deduct 500 rupees from our account 
so for that reason if it is uh, advisable that we can manage the optimization for our ads so this is what we have over here and uh, one second yeah so we have done facebook ads also so it is similar to facebook ads uh, wherein we can give controls to uh, this linkedin uh, or else we can keep the controls then the next thing over here is run continuously from the start date so i can provide a start date so today is 25th i'll say that i want to run my ads from tomorrow and uh, if i want i can provide a start date and uh, with a budget or else i can provide the end date so if i want to run my ads continuously then i can select this if i want to run my ads for few days then i can say start date and end date so start date is already provided and uh, end date i can provide maybe 31st uh, uh, say august i can select the start date and end date and then i can click on create so now this campaign group is created it will create the campaign group mm. okay campaign name is uh, pending over here so we can provide so this is a brand awareness ad so we can use uh, brand awareness and then whatever product or service we are promoting that we can use so i'll use digital marketing course and then i can say create so now it will create this option over here and uh, then over here i can click on this and uh, then i can now create the over here we can create the campaign so this is what we have selected brand awareness active objective is brand awareness and uh, budget is set campaign level so that we are using so current spend is zero so after that i can click on next and then i can select my audiences over here so oh, uh audiences i can select from the location where i want to run my ads so right now by default it is india so i can select this and uh, i can add some other location say maybe like uh, mumbai so i can select mumbai maharashtra over here then maybe i can select navi mumbai also so like that i can select the locations so two locations we have selected over here mumbai and navi mumbai we have selected so in case if we want to add even countries or state then we can also add that locations also so right now i am selecting two locations after that i can uh, uh, target my audiences so i can narrow down my audiences in case if i want to narrow down i can even select that so audiences uh, so these are all the audiences in case if i want or else i can create a new audience so that audience also i can create so this is over here we have the options of the saved audience in case if we have saved previously or else i can create new audiences so if i want to see all audiences then i can click that and then over here i can see members with bachelor's degree members expertise in biotechnology all these options are coming up so from this i can select whatever i want uh, over here so i can just select this options over here mm, okay so like this i can create uh, the audiences so first of all i'll just select one over here and then i can say select audience okay so this is one of the audience that we have selected but uh, in case if we want to add something more then uh, say we have over here the audiences so either we can click search over here if we don't know what to search then we have options over here i can click on audiences and uh, say this is list upload 
so in case if i already have some list i can upload the list of the company or contact list i can upload or say look alike audiences uh, that i can use over here or else uh, maybe retargeting retargeting means the people who have already interacted with my business so maybe they might have visited my website but did not purchase anything from my website so i want to retarget those people who have already visited my website or my mobile app so that i can use retargeting ads and then third party also i can use third party companies and third party contacts i can use so i can you haven't created audience list over here so we don't have any third party list over here or third party contact over here so we are not using that and others over here so that is others uh, over here so we are not using others as well so this is uh, say manually uploading our own list except this retargeting for the people who have already visited so that will be selected automatically uh, then other option is like uh, audience attribute so now like uh, facebook ads we had selected various categories and sub categories so here also we are selecting these so now since this is a professional network you will get all the options uh, professional options only say like companies demographics education experience interest in uh, uh, traits so like this i can select say like company so then company category company connection company followers of so like this there are various options so like maybe i can select company categories or company names also i can select if i want to select a particular company then i can use that then company industries also are there company size is also there so like this we have various options so let us select company category over here so categories over here we can see the categories like forbes world's most innovative companies or fortune 100 fast growing companies fortune 1000 so i mean this is all high level uh, companies over here so in case if we want to select then our ads will go to them then linkedin news editors top companies that we can select then news editors top companies uh, australia so this is with the help of uh, countries that we can select so maybe we can select uh, india but uh, say we have selected mumbai and navi mumbai so uh, i think we can select uh, over here so that is selected so like this i can select from various countries so these are all different countries we are selecting so after that i can go back and uh, maybe i can select company connections so the connections that i might have so right now i don't see any connections over here so i'm not able to select that options so then maybe i can select company followers of so so followers of my page over here so if i want to select my page then i can select my page as well so then uh, say all the followers uh, of my page will receive this ad so that is followers and then company growth rate and industries and company names over here company revenue company size all these options are there then i might be selecting demographics that is age and gender so i can select uh, according to this my product and services i can select these options so say 18 to 24 25 to 34 35 to 54 so this could be my audience over here that i have selected and uh, after that i can again go back and uh, select education so education degrees field of study and member school so maybe i can select degrees so phd masters bachelors associate science so i can select say bachelors over here so i can select bachelor of science bachelors degree bachelors of arts bachelors of engineering so like this i can select uh, bachelors of business administration then uh, bachelors of technology bachelors of commerce then bachelors of education so like this i can select the degrees as well uh, then field of study maybe say like computer science social computer science i'll select this so in that i can select computer science computer science and information science support services 
देन मे बी मैथमेटिक्स कंप्यूटर साइंस और कंप्यूटर्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस जनरल ओके डाट आई कैन सिलेक्ट सो लाइक दिस आई कैन सिलेक्ट दी ऑप्शन दैट आई रिसीव देन मेम्बर स्कूल सो मे बी इफ आई वॉन्ट टू टारगेट एनी पर्टिकुलर यूनिवर्सिटी और स्कूल और इंस्टीट्यूट एनी वेयर वर्ल्ड वाइड आई कैन सिलेक्ट सो लेट मी ट्राई फॉर से मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी सो आई कैन सी मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी वो हियर सो आई कैन सिलेक्ट दैट देन मुंबई वो हियर आई कैन सिलेक्ट मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मुंबई एम ई टी यूनिवर्सिटी आई कैन सिलेक्ट सो लाइक दिस ऑल दी प्लेस दैट वी हैव आई कैन सिलेक्ट सो दीज आर सम ऑफ दैम सो मे बी इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सिलेक्ट समथिंग मोर देन आई कैन जस्ट सिलेक्ट ओवर हियर आई कैन प्रोवाइड द नेम सो वी हैव सिलेक्टेड मुंबई नवी मुंबई लेट मी सी इफ वी हैव डी वाई पाटिल येस वी कैन सी डी वाई पाटिल ऑल्सो इज देयर सो आई कैन सिलेक्ट लाइक दैट सो आई कैन सिलेक्ट एनी नेम ओवर हियर एंड आई कैन सिलेक्ट दैट इंडस्ट्री से दैट पर्टिकुलर स्कूल ओवर हियर सो दैट इज द एजुकेशन मेम्बर स्कूल ओवर हियर सो आई कैन टारगेट एनी स्कूल ओवर हियर सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सिलेक्ट मोर सो देन आई कैन सिलेक्ट समथिंग एल्स ऑल्सो ओवर हियर इन साइंस uh masters of science or bachelors of applied science so more uh, target audience i can select so like this i can select this option job experience so in case say like job functions say first of all accounting administering uh, then arts and design business development i can select then uh, consulting i can select mm, customer success and support no education yes engineering yes uh entrepreneurship yes uh healthcare human resources information technology yes marketing yes so like this i can go deep and uh, i can select my audiences media and communication uh product management uh, no purchasing uh, real estate i can select and sales i can select so these are the options that i have selected after that uh, say in that uh, we have job experience uh, we can select uh, job seniorities so like manager level and trainee entry level senior like this there are various option directors vice president cxos partners i can select so i can select manager senior uh, training entry senior all these options i can select over here maybe director also and vice president partners also i can select uh, cxos won't be helpful over here so then maybe i can select by job titles so like director engineer executive manager sales so i can first select with executives so executive i can select then ceo i can select so then you can see over here then there are certain options over here i can select these options also chief business officers so that i can select then senior i can select then uh, uh enterprise director i can select like this i can select my audiences over here so executive assistants then uh, sales executives uh then marketing executives so people in marketing can uh, be good uh, people to whom i can show my ads so like this i can select job experience as well then uh, job titles and member skills so microsoft excel project coordination program management technical writing communication so i mean this does not apply to me so i will not select that option and years of experience so maybe i can select uh, starting from uh, one year to maybe around uh, whatever maximum is 12 plus years i can select that options over here so like this i can select by job experience and then interest and traits 
so like member groups or member interest so groups might uh, not be available over here but interest might be available general interest product interest or service interest so general interest may be arts and entertainment business management careers and employment uh, that we can select so in this retirement seasonal and temporary job self-employment so these all are there then uh, marketing and advertising i can select so i think you were disconnected okay all right so uh, like this we can select various options then maybe i can select sales and retail mm -hmm. i can select okay so like this uh, i have selected all my audiences so after uh, selecting all my audiences if i still want to narrow down my audience then i can narrow down if you are looking for exactly particular people but uh, if i do that then uh, say the audience will get decreased and uh, my reach will be very limited on the right hand side you can see over here what is the 30 day spend 7 day spend and 1 day spend so actually the linkedin ads are very costly you can see 3800 to 9000 rupees spending per day and uh, i would be reaching approximately 13000 people to 56000 people every day and uh, uh, one day cost per thousand member accounts reach would be 232 rupees to 348 rupees so for every thousand people you reach this is the amount that we have to pay and uh, on an average daily frequency average frequency is 1.7 to 2.6 so that's fine so we can use this options over here and then i can create my ad so now this option is checked by default that is enable audience expansion audience expansion means like we have already selected some of the audiences now if there are any audiences which are similar to what we have selected then automatically our ads will go to them so that is audience expansion then we have to select what type of ad we want to do so either it's a single image or a carousel or a video ad or a text ad spotlight followers documents conversions and events so we are uh, say doing this awareness ad so maybe i can use image or a carousel or a video i can use so right now we are selecting single image over here so single image we are selecting and then i can select so linkedin is by default and uh, linkedin audience network so place ads on trusted third party publishers where linkedin audiences engage so that we can select and uh, show brand safety options so in case if you want to exclude some categories or say select categories of mobile apps and sites where you do not want to uh, want your ads to appear then you can select this option so over here you can select some of the categories where you don't want your ads to come up so just now we have taken trouble of uh, sorting out all the audiences that we want so over here i will not uh, remove any audiences because uh, i want my ads to reach at the maximum more places so you can also upload a publisher list where you don't want your ads to come so that is also there so we are not uh, re removing any options over here so we will continue with the daily budget so i can select a daily budget or a lifetime budget uh, ideally we will not select uh, both the options daily and lifetime budget so that is just in case that you can define that i want to spend 5000 for this ad and this is the daily budget out of that 5000 i want to spend every single day so if you want that option then you can use this or else you can define just the daily budget and uh, you can stop your ad at any point of time so that much amount will be utilized uh, according to, to the days you have used so the daily budget over here say maybe i would uh, use 1000 over here yeah. 
okay so we are setting a daily budget of 1000 over here after that uh, uh, over here start date we have provided uh, so I can again provide a start date that is from tomorrow that is 26th of August I want to run my ads and uh, bidding uh, is uh, op optimization goal so that is we are reaching more people so in case if you want to change that option then you can select that option reach is recommended so that we are reaching more number of people because uh, we are selecting awareness ads and then this is impression so deliver many impressions as possible so in this uh, option and the first option what is the difference over here i will be reaching unique number of people so um, uh, i'll be reaching more people and impression is something like uh, just the ad will be displayed on your screen so that ad can be say shown to the same person multiple times uh, but uh, in the first ad that is reach uh, you will be getting unique people so if there are thousand impression it means that you are getting at least uh, say thousand people to view your ad but in if you select impressions then uh, maybe out of thousand impressions uh, actual people will be maybe around uh, 400 to 500 because maybe they might have seen your ad multiple times so actually uh, uniqueness of the ad would be only 500 but in the first option you are getting uh, say unique number of people that is you are reaching more number of people that is what is recommended by linkedin as well uh, so these are the two options so I am selecting reach over here you know, so that I can reach maximum number of people and bidding strategy is maximum delivery so we can get most result possible with your full budget so that is what we are getting and now we can see the calculation as per the budget that we have added so over here it says that increase your budget to 6000 rupees so initially itself i said that uh, linkedin ads are very costly so we need minimum 6000 to do the advertising so if i use 6000 per day then uh, i would be um, uh, spending approximately say 2900 to 9006 rupees uh, one day spend on an average on seven days i would be spending this much amount and uh, 70,000 to 280,000 people I would be reaching uh, in 7 days and over here approximate cost for reaching 1000 people would be 303 rupees to 455 rupees so that's fine right now and then I can select uh, the mm, next option conversion tracking so that is optional so that we don't require at this moment and uh, then i click on next confirm save yes save so over here we get the option to save every time we add something which we did not see in facebook so now i can create my ad so i can say browse existing content or create new ads so definitely we will be creating a new ad over here so i need to provide the name of this ad so which we have already provided uh, earlier so the same one we will be using so i can use brand awareness and uh, then the product that we had selected so like this i can use and then this is the introductory text so over here url in this field is automatically shortened so i can put my url also so that is added and then over here introductory text so that i will take uh, from my notepad so i have the content ready so over here i can just select some text so i'll use this text over here so i have a, a maximum character limit is 600 so maybe i can use something more as well so I can try this options over here so it is it will come up over here on the top then our website URL is added and then I can add some images so upload or select so I can upload mm. so you don't have any files so I need to select the files okay 
so I would be uploading so maybe from here I can upload some images so let's see what I can use okay I'll select this image or uh, okay I'll select this option over here and I'll say open so that image is coming up and uh, I'll say add to library so this image I am selecting over here so one selected and five are suggested so maybe I can use some more so that good that's good option for me where I can use some more images so I select this option one image over here then the second image mm, then third one fourth one so like this I'll select these options over here all these images I'm selecting and add to library okay so I've added all the images to the library after uploading and then I'll say select so all these images are now selected and then I need to add some uh, all text images so that is something uh, uh, which when people will keep their mouse on the images uh, it will show some extra text so that I can use over here um, like uh, it is your voice distorted my voice distorted I am connected with a wired microphone. Okay. Okay. So I hope you are able to see my screen again. Yes. Okay so now we just need to use the alternative text of the image so i'll just copy this text over here i and uh, i can put that text over here so that will be visible when people will uh, put their mouse over the image so this is something that they will be able to see so we have added the uh, headlines we need to add so these are the four uh, images that we have added now we need to add some headlines so we have a limitation of 200 characters so I can use over here okay so I'll copy this over here the first headline then I need to add some description so I can use some description over here and uh, still more I can use okay so I've added this description we have maximum 300 character limit over here and then call to action button so that is the button that we want below the ad so that we can select like apply download view code uh, learn more sign up subscribe register join attend or request demo so we can use request demo so before people wants to join they can have a demo over here that we can select and uh, after that i can say save ad so now over here i can see this is the ad that is getting created so people can see this so images will uh, reshuffle 
and uh, at different places the format of the ad would be different so we can see this is a different mobile view mobile feeds then desktop feeds add to over here so different image and text will come up over here and uh, this request demo will come up over here so now i can see that this text is getting cut over here so people might not see the full thing so i might use something else mm. or i can just say get digitally ready in 21 days so this would be a better option okay this is okay and uh, then i can say save add over here and add to campaign so now our ad is created so now we can see it has created five different types of ads so it will run all the ads as per uh, the uh, the engagement that it gets so it will run the best performing ads so this is all that we have selected over here so we can just verify everything and uh, if everything is okay then we can continue with the payment over here so it asks for the credit card and debit card over here so this is there is only one problem that uh, we can uh, there is no other payment method over here i need to add a credit card or a debit card so maybe people might not be using a credit card over here so and uh, not all banks provide international uh, debit cards to people but nowadays of course uh, they are providing but uh, say by default it is disabled so uh, I mean they need to get it activated uh, for international transactions online so now once we make the payment over here then our ads will go into review so LinkedIn will review our ad and uh, once everything is done then we have balance in our account then only our ads will start to run so this is how we can run the ad so we have done the first ad over here that is brand awareness so i can go back to the account and uh, we can run another ad so we have done one ad over here brand awareness so now i can select another one over here so okay <coughs> so there is one more campaign over here so i can uh, if i want i can use the same campaign or else i can create another one so i can use this one over here click on new campaign and uh, then after that i can create a campaign group so then i can provide the details over here and then select what type of ad i want to do so now the next ad is for website visits so this ad is good for say i want traffic on my website or the landing pages where i want or say linkedin events so these are the three options where uh, i can get traffic so whether it is website or landing page or a linkedin event so these three places i can get traffic so i would uh, use mm, website website traffic and then i can provide where i want traffic so i'll say elpopedia website and then i'll select website visits and then budget optimization so this time we will keep it active so that uh, let us see how uh, linkedin manages this so i can set a daily budget or a lifetime budget so i'll select daily budget so maybe over here i'll put uh, 1000 rupees so let's see whether it is accepting it or not so maximum delivery or cost cap so cost cap can be like get uh, as many results as positive way uh, staying under the desired maximum cost per result so wherein you can uh, use the maximum cost per result so whenever a person is coming to your website you will be charged for each and every one each and every visitor who is coming but uh, this option would be a better option so because this would be 
cheaper option because we want uh, traffic on our website so maximum delivery would be a cheaper option this would be a costly option and then additional options over here uh, is manual bidding so control cost bids in the auction so over here i can provide the bid for thousand uh, visitors who are coming on my website so or else i can use maximize delivery so over here it says that will automatically set and adjust your bids to help you to get the most results so if i select this option whatever is recommended then i would get the best traffic from linkedin over here but if i select manually then uh, in case if the bid is okay then our ads will run or else uh, say sometimes our ads might not even show up so i can select the maximize uh, maximum delivery so this is the option and then i can select the start date so i'll select 26th as the start date over here and then i'll say create the campaign so i so it says that the minimum budget should be at least 1500 per day so i need to increase it to 1500 over here so that budget is okay and now i can click on create so now campaign group is created now we can create an ad over here so now over here in this website traffic i'll click on this website traffic and then we will go towards the audience group so over here we get better results help from an expert so this is in case if we want to provide our email address so that they can provide us with some uh, more information from the experts from the linkedin team and i can click on come submit got it so now i can create a new campaign group so yes campaign groups i'll select and then i need to pro okay so campaign group was already created we need to select that so this is okay now i need to create a campaign so here it is in the reverse order from bottom to top so this is all that we have selected then i click on next and then this is the campaign name so we had selected website traffic and uh, the place where we want traffic campaign objective is website visit and then over here i can again select the audiences so in case if i have saved any audiences it will come up over here but we haven't uh, saved any audiences so i need to select my audience again so i would select this time let me select the full state that is maharashtra i can select over here maybe if i want to select something else then i can select okay mm. so like this i can select the options so this is my location that is selected and then i can select my audiences over here so exclude or uh, narrow down your audiences we don't want to narrow down the audiences so we are creating this new audiences so okay so who are your target audiences so reset audiences so this is okay i can narrow down in my audiences over here so i can select the audiences like i selected last time so in this option i can just select the demographics over here 
so depending on the type of uh, ad that you are running you can select your audiences over here so demographics we have selected then uh, gender we can select all okay so gender we have selected both then uh, education i can select degrees and field of studies that all select i can select bachelor's degrees i can select bachelor's of engineering then bachelor's of business administration bachelor's of technology bachelor's of uh, applied science i can select and uh, bachelor of education i can select so this is the education then field of study so maybe computer science marketing that i can select okay I can also select marketing business management marketing international marketing general sales merchandising and related marketing operations or marketing research or general sales specialized sales then business and personal financial service marketing operations okay so this is what we have selected so like this i can select my audiences so here job experience and interest i can select job experience is not required so maybe over here interest i can select what are the general interest of the people so i can select business and management careers and uh, so these all over here we can select so by default everything is selected careers and employment i can select and uh, marketing and advertising i can select and uh, sales and retail i can select technology i can select so like this i have selected my audience now if i want to save this audience i can just click a save audience and uh, i can provide it a name so i can just provide some name so i'll just provide like uh, digital marketing so i'll select save so next time if i come over here i don't need to select if i want to use the same audiences i don't need to create the new audiences again i can just go to the drop down over here and uh, i can just select the audience so we can see this audience we have created it has come up over here so next time i just click on this so all the audience will get selected again so every time i don't need to go and dig all the audiences so this is all the audiences that we have selected and now i can select the type of ad format where i can use single image or a video or a carousel so this time let us use a video ad so let's see so this is placements by default that we can use then uh, scheduling group budget that we have selected so these all things are uh, whatever we have selected so we cannot change this so after that uh, over here i can click on next so first of all i need to save and then i can create an ad so create a new ad over here so i can provide the name of the ad so that would be like website traffic for the property on which i want the ad and then the introductory text however that is optional but uh, we can use that option so 
I can use something oh yes I'll use this one so this is introductory text Okay, so this is coming up then uh, over here add videos so I can select videos so it can be 9 is to 16 or 16 is to 9 or 1 is to 1 so one is portrait one is landscape and one is uh, say one is to one that is square videos so I can upload the videos so let's see what I can upload over here alright so I'll use this one over here mm, okay so one video is coming up over here okay and uh, if I want to upload a thumbnail then that also I can use so maybe if I want to upload some image for that then I can use that so yes i mean uh, if i want some images to come up let's see Okay, so maybe I can use uh, this image over here. So this is how it will come up. So I can say add to library. So now it will upload the video and this banner over here. So this might take some time. Okay, it is still uploading so we need to wait the size of the video is not that big is 48 MB okay we don't have any other option to wait so we have to wait okay so one video is uploaded it won't still say total five are suggested so maybe we can upload uh, okay so i can use this one and uh, or else maybe I'll use this one and this one two videos will use so this is 2.71 MB and uh, this is 160 MB okay so this will not take much time to upload so let's see so this is done over here and for this also I can use the thumbnail options
for this I would use a different one I'll use this one or else I'll use this one so this image will come up and then I'll say R2 library ok so now it is uploading the two videos and uh, one image okay so now it is added so this image we have added three over here and uh, these are the mp4s that we have uploaded so okay still one is getting added okay two of them are still getting added So it says that selected assets must finish processing before you can continue. So once the processing is done after that only we can uh, proceed. So I think it is done. So yes all of them are selected. So now I can select all of them. And uh, yes they have come up and uh, now what I can do is add the headlines over here so that I can take it from here. So this is three two hundred characters. Okay, so maybe we can use something more. Okay, and then the destination URL. And then call to action button. So there are various uh, options. So I can use say maybe around uh, sign up I can use. Or maybe view quote. So even that can happen. So if we have pricing on our page then we need to provide that URL over here when people will click on that button so they can see the quote. So that is the product page I need to send them. So right now I will select uh, um, sign up I will use or maybe learn more can also be a good option I can use. So that will come up over here by default. So this is there and uh, after that my ad is done over here and uh, I can just click on save ad and add to campaign and then that uh, review page will come up so this is the review page so this is the three ads that we have selected then next and then comes the billing information so this is it and then the billing information that's it so i can just say save and exit at the moment so our ad is done so we have done the website traffic ads as well so now if i want i can on or off this ad at any point of time i can just select and i can uh, stop the ad any point of time i can even delete the ad if in case if i don't want 
I can use that option over here so like this we have the options that we can use so now okay we have used this option we have created two ads and uh, now if I want I can create the third ad so let's see which ad we can do now so I click on this new campaign and then uh, I'll say create a campaign over here okay so now I click on next and then campaign name over here but uh, before that I need to select uh, which ad so I just need to see which ad okay first of all we'll select the campaign group and then we select uh, the ad so the next ad is the engagement so engagement ad is to increase social engagement with your existing content uh, or LinkedIn event or increase followers to your company page so yes that can be done so if you want more followers on the page then that can be done or if you have posted some uh, content uh, on your LinkedIn page then uh, you can use this option over here so at this moment I don't think I have posted anything recently except the blogs so but still let me check okay yeah post I haven't added I have just added this all content so let's see if we can use that so we'll use engagement and uh, first that we will do it for followers so this is what we can use so I'll use engagement and then again the budget optimization so last time we had selected uh, the budget optimization as on this time again we'll keep it off then we provide the start date of the ad that's 26th and then i'll say create and now i can create my campaign so engagement is coming up over here i click on that and then i can create the campaign so in Facebook this part was called as creating as an ad but over here it is called as creating as a campaign so then I click on next and then over here the campaign name and uh, objective is engagement and audiences this time we can select the audiences so existing selections will be replaced okay so I can select that over here or uh, say if I don't select then by default it will go to all the people so I will I'll select this option over here okay and uh, then locations uh, whatever we had selected in past that all things are coming up as we can see on the screen and uh, then we can see this all audiences are selected and then I can select what type of ad I want so now since this is a followers so I need to use a single image over here uh, so or else uh, this is what I need to use promote your LinkedIn page to acquire followers so I need to use specially this option because uh, for followers we have a dedicated ad over here so I select followers over here and uh, we set your audience language to all auto translate okay so that is fine and your linkedin audience network setting has been disabled as uh, it is not available for this ad format okay so that's okay so this will go only on linkedin and then i can select the budget so we can see the minimum budget that we need to spend is six thousand what happens if i spend a thousand rupees over here it might give us some warnings or errors let's see and then run our campaigns regularly or else I can select start date and end date so start date I can provide from tomorrow and uh, end date 
मे बी सेप्टेम्बर ऑगस्ट सेप्टेम्बर फिफ्टींथ और समथिंग लाइक दैट आई कैन सिलेक्ट एंड देन ओवर हियर बिडिंग ऑप्शन सो एंगेजमेंट क्लिक्स सो वॉट आर दी अदर ऑप्शन लेटर सी एंगेजमेंट क्लिक्स इज रिकमेंडेड एंड अदर इज इम्प्रेशन सो पीपल इफ पीपल डू नॉट क्लिक एंड दे जस्ट सी द एड्स ऑन दियर स्क्रीन एंड आफ्टर दैट दे डोंट टेक एनी एक्शन देन इट इज़ यूजलेस सो वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू पे मनी फॉर नो रिजल्ट वी वॉन्ट टू पे मनी ओनली फॉर द रिजल्ट दैट वी आर गेटिंग सो वेन एवर अ पर्सन विल क्लिक ऑन दी एड एंड फॉलो सो एट दैट टाइम आई वॉन्ट टू पे सो आई सिलेक्ट the default option that is engagement clicks and then over here the minimum engagement rate over here is uh, say 95.85 so this is the minimum that we can use so 95.85 is the minimum uh, similar advertising cost that people are bidding so we can use this option over here <coughs> then i click on next so first i need to save and uh, now i can create my ad so i click on create a new ad so now we can see over here advertising is so headline and everything is coming up automatically or else personalize heading by adding macro over here so first name last name so company name we can use or else uh, say the which page we want uh, say um, over here to promote so this is the ad over here so this is a uh, image i can use so upload a company logo so this is the logo that we have uploaded so it picks up directly from the page itself because we are promoting the page so over here Mm, add description so maybe i can use my own description if i want and uh, so or else i can select only from the drop downs get latest jobs and stay informed on the industry news and trends so keep up with the interesting relevant updates opportunities are knocking on your door so i mean there are various options that i can select over here so i can also use custom description as well so if i use custom description then i can use my description whatever i want to use so we have only 70 characters so maybe i can shorten this okay so this is done and then call to action button so visit carriers or visit company visit jobs or visit life so i can select visit company i can use so this is how the ad will look like and uh, after that i don't need to add something more over here everything is uh, coming up automatically because over here the ad is related to the likes that we want we want more followers so for that the ads will come up so this is how it will look and uh, then i can say save ad so yes my ad is created i'll say next this is engagement ad so over here we don't have much options over here that's it and then i can say save and exit so my ad is ready so this is how we create the ad so we st still have time we can do one more ad but uh, i would uh, suggest you to practice first and uh, we can do the remaining ads in the next session because uh, i don't want uh, more confusion because once you start to create the ads you will get to know uh, how we are doing ads and uh, you can practice and see how things work and if you face any difficulty you can note down the uh, difficulties so we can discuss that in the next session and then we can continue further so that's it from my end so if you have any question you can let me know
हेलो हेलो अमित जी युवा देर ओके सो या डेट्स व्हाट आई वाज जस्ट आस्किंग इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस यू कैन लेट मी नो यू फर्स्ट बिकॉज़ वॉइस नॉट कमिंग योर वॉइस इज नॉट कमिंग यू कैन ओके इज इट ओके यू कैन हियर मी ओके बट आई कैन नॉट हियर यू सो नॉट एन इश्यू सो इन दैट केस यू कैन जस्ट लेट मी नो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे सो वी हैव डन थ्री एड्स टूडे देन इन दैट केस आई वॉन्ट यू टू प्रैक्टिस एवरी थिंग सो दैट यू विल गेट सम एक्सपीरियंस क्रिएटिंग दी एड्स so when you actually require to do the ads you will be able to do that so that's it for today then uh, see you uh, in the next session and uh, yes the videos will be uploaded uh, so hopefully the videos will be uploaded tonight and uh, say i will be uh, giving you your login credentials on my portal so then you will be able to practice everything all the videos you will be able to see so hopefully by tonight you will get all the things okay fine then goodbye see you all right good day